I guess everything really changed a lot in the spring. There was kind of a lot of things that were about to happen. There was worlds and just, yeah, a lot of things were planned and then, yeah, just kind of all completely got canceled. As far as we go here in Tofino, we only really have the one major event, the, the CSA Nationals every year. And coming into the spring, I know personally, I'm always like, okay, that's when I want to like find that extra level and find that extra gear. And to not have that definitely, uh, it plays a role in kind of everyone's preparation and training. I think the, like, the main thing that changed was just all the contests being stopped or canceled. Usually we'd be, you know, traveling to Hawaii or California or so many other places this time of year. For me personally, I was supposed to compete in the ISA World Surfing Games in uh, El Salvador in May, so that event got postponed for a whole year. You know, that was the last uh, qualifier for the Olympic Games, so it was a big event that a lot of people were looking forward to. For probably like the past five years now, I've been like coming home and going on trips every few weeks or months, and now like getting this time at home to really like focus in on myself and getting to work on my surfing and work on school and getting to like hang out with friends that normally I'd only see once or twice a year, I took as a real positive. This was actually gonna kind of be my first year like really hitting the international qualifying league. Definitely just trying to get into it and kind of feel it out. I haven't competed that much as a junior. That was my plan, pretty ironed out, and now that's not happening. Surf contests are starting to evolve and have started to evolve and part of that is due to COVID. I haven't done a comp for like probably eight months now almost so just getting in that competitive mindset and like remembering what it feels like to be in a jersey and competing. The hometown showdown is um, basically an event to get us all all of us uh, local competitors here back in a jersey and back competing against one another in these uh, strange times that we're having. It's really cool it's nice to kind of like that there's a bunch of us here that we can kind of yeah have a contest and be in that sort of mindset and yeah there's it's just feels like there's been nothing like this for a while when you're at a wave that's kind of like a shorter somewhat punchier beach break it's really good to focus on doing like just like one or two really good turns rather than lots of little ones so I think the main thing will just be waiting for good sections and timing them right and just doing those few big turns. Well it's been a while since I've surfed a heat. It's cool it'll be at north because that's like a it's a fun beach. So I feel like I will need to choose good waves and not get too excited to not just freak out. <laughs> Younger girls have just like skyrocketed. I actually just the other day was like, wow, everybody just got kind of better. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I progressed and I, everyone around me progressed. I mean, I can hope I will win. I, I wouldn't say that I'm gonna win, but we can hope for it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna win. <laughs> Close to like eight months now, all the surfers have been in Tofino at home and surfing together at our local beaches every day. And we've been like drawing from each other and like pushing each other in the water and getting to watch everyone like improve so much, I feel like. It was a long time ago that we did something like this. It's really fun. It's fun to like have a jersey on and kind of just be with the crew and stuff. First scan. Woo! Yeah. Tail onto the round three right away. That's for you to keep. Trying to for the show. Overall, I think it went pretty well. I mean, the waves are really fun today. I got like a right more to the right that kind of held up, and I got to do like two okay turns. That one felt pretty good. Yeah. Waves actually look super fun. It's like head high kind of chunky but clean and some really rippable peaks. Oh wait, you're going down there? I'd say my biggest competitor would be obviously uh, Peter DeVries, but 
also Calum Bruweiler. Um, I've been training alongside with him in the gym and, and seen him out in the water a lot and he's uh, yeah, looking really good. Predictions, not really. I mean, I predict that it's gonna be a battle and I predict that it's gonna be really fun and exciting. Peter will be launching, Caleb will be launching, Michael will be launching, and hopefully I'm launching too. Yeah, my mom My mom predicted me, that's uh, pretty nice of her. Yeah, Caleb's probably gonna win. Well, you know, you gotta root, root for your people. Everyone's so competitive and, and there's so much fire in each individual. Sonoa on the women's side and Reed on the men's side are kind of the, the ones that stand out to me as like, you blink and they're better. The amount of spray that Reed and Sonoa throw compared to six months ago is so apparent that they're definitely winning the most improved player awards right now. It's pretty hard to pick someone who's gonna be like way harder to beat. That being said, Pete has the most experience. He's been the one who usually kind of ends up taking out events around here. I mean, everyone kind of has their eyes on Pete. They're like, yeah, okay, we want to beat Pete. He's the guy. Yeah, that, we both took off on like the same wave. I saw that he popped up first, which usually means that like they have the right of way. When I went in, everyone was kind of like chirping me about it. I would say I do my best surfing when I haven't been really focusing on the, the specific competition side of things in terms of heat strategy and competitive training in the water that seems to kind of do the opposite for me. Yeah, there was some funny stuff going on. Pete kind of ran over Michael, which is pretty funny. Yeah, Pete was probably just like, I'm a go and Michael's gonna duck dive and if he doesn't, we're gonna have some problems. <laughs> I guess I won 500 bucks because I won the first heat. It's called a skins event, so if you win a, win a heat, you win a skin. And um, essentially I got 500 bucks and I get to skip round two and go directly into round three, which is kind of a nice prize. I was grumpy this morning and now I'm happy. When I've traveled as a competitor, and I've seen it, like even in the in the team events, like we are the underdogs. We've kind of had these like groups and pockets of surfers coming up, and I had a couple friends who I grew up surfing with, and then there was big gaps between the kids coming up, and it seems like nowadays there's just more and more of this crew and these groups of groms that are super focused and frothing on surfing. My name is Shannon Brown. I'm the head coach for Surf Canada. My role is hopefully help uh, Canadian surfers qualify for the Olympics in 2020. Well, 2021. <laughs> Caleb, yeah, I see him as one of the, the brightest futures for Canadian surfing. I, I think technically he's maybe the strongest surfer in Canada. As he gets you know bigger and stronger, hopefully he's he's going to you know, add some speed to his surfing that's going to help him kind of match it on an international level. Some of the big strong points for Matea in her surfing is her power, for one. She's a very powerful surfer. She's a very smooth surfer. She's a very calm presence in and out of the water. So it never feels like any moment is too big for her. She always seems calm and under control and, and uh, always ready for a moment if it's gonna show up. Noah, like Pete, is an incredibly fast surfer. Really, really progressive. You can see the, like, the amount of influence from guys like Peter and, and Sepp and Raf with a slightly more new school kind of tweak on it. Uh, so Noah is probably the most fired up of, of all the team members. She goes so hard in the surf. She's really, really powerful, really precise, and just kind of has a vibe about her. You know, I, would, I don't know if I'd like to pale out in the heat against her. 
Yeah, Hannah's uh, kind of the star queen on the team. I really like watching Hannah surf. She's competed a lot in Canada and had a lot of success. Kind of has a bit of a mix of sort of skate style that she brings to her surfing. Michael, you know, he's really tall, skinny, kind of lanky, perfect frame. Kind of surfs a lot like, you know, one of the most stylish surfers we know, Michael February. He's so fast, but he just has a lot of power in his turns, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of just a, a different style to what you see from the other guys. Uh, best grandma in the world, maybe. But it's just really cool to see Calf, you know, still super keen to get out and keep up with all the kids out there, keep them honest. Long time Canadian surfer, won lots of events over the years but she has a lot to give for these other kids coming up as well. Yeah, Jasmine is uh, an exciting new prospect as well. Really, really stylish surfer. I, I think maybe one of the most stylish um, surfers all around. Hopefully as she grows in confidence, you know, she starts to match that with results. Yeah, Reed's my, my little mini-me, prodigy. One of the only big, tall, goofy footers in Canada right now. Powerful, stylish kid and very progressive, big airs, will push over any ledge. You know, he's not scared, just loves giving it his all. Pete has that veteran presence about him. Uh, just has the ultimate surface physique. The incredibly progressive surfer, he has all the moves that you can think of basically on lock. He's the kind of guy that you just never count out, you know, until the heat's counting down and he's comboed, he's totally in a spot that he can make the heat if not win it. For me, I mostly just focus on like liking surfing and just really like just going out there and just surfing for me. You know, I've always been like a really competitive person. I love having that space, those 20 minutes to put 100% in. When I'm at home, I have a really good strength program. Whether you're doing yoga or just doing little stuff that makes your body feel good. And even if I'm not performing my best in the water, it's making me a better athlete overall. It's kind of a lot of work after getting away, but um, yeah, there's good waves out there. I'm scared. Oh, this is so cute. Eliminated. Eliminated. Oh. <laughs> oh, I fell on the end. I was going so fast. I you need a huge hair. Yeah. <laughs> the purpose of this is bragging rights kind of uh, I don't know what we win I guess we win the, the right to say I, I beat you or I beat Pete DeVries the 10 time national champ or whatever 12 13 <laughs> do we win money I've never won money in my life from surfing so if we won money that would be sick when you're going into a heat, you don't get like, you know, as much freedom really. Like you kind of want to like capitalize on every single section you get. Whereas in a free surf, if you want to do the biggest move you can. But usually in a contest, you kind of want to like make the most out of every section on a wave and you don't really want to leave anything on the table. The two laybacks that Noah did in that second round heat, they were big moves and they were really sick to watch. I went out in the first round and I surfed a bit safe and I actually lost. I was last place in that one. And I was kind of like, oh shit, I guess they really want to, you know, score the big moves. And so the second round heat, I went out with like a whole new strategy and was like, attack, if you fall, whatever, it doesn't matter. From zero to hero, Noah Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> Tofino is basically Canada's surf town. Growing up here, it was kind of a different place. It was a, a little like logging, fishing, hippie town, and surfing has become one of the most popular things to do here. So there's hundreds of surfers in the water every day. Tofino itself has changed so much in, in my lifetime to suddenly being this like tourism hotspot and now that's definitely like the mainstay for, for economy and for people's jobs and, and livelihood. There's got to be three or four surf shops here. There's, I don't know, eight or nine people or places that do lessons and rentals. So everybody's realizing that surfing is 
the most popular thing here now, and it's only gonna continue to be more popular. I don't know what the tourists do when they come here. <laughs> Fucking drop in on me. Those are sups. <laughs> Growing up surfing in Tofino, there wasn't that much competition when I was really young. Yeah, I remember, like, I grew up on South Chestermans and looking out the window as a kid, and, like, on a random Tuesday afternoon, and, like, calling my brothers over and being like, holy cow, like, look, there's somebody surfing, and we were just like, whoosh, minds were blown, like, you didn't see people surfing ever. Tofino is basically as far west as you can go, a tiny little town at the end of the road. It's just a, a gorgeous place, kind of as far out as you can go. There's kind of something for everyone if you're into the outdoors at all, in any capacity. It's amazing just because you're in the middle of nowhere and there's so much to explore, which, which I love about it. There's all kinds of wildlife, whales, bears, cougars, wolves, things that you're just not gonna see in cities. Stretches of beautiful beaches. It's a pretty fun place to be a surfer, actually. battles going on right now. We've got uh, the two sisters, Matea and Sonoa, and uh, Kath Ruweiler. I think probably the two sisters are in the lead, so they'd be the my favorites to make it to the final, and then they can battle it out for the uh, hometown win. Matea's surfing really well. She's just... Um, She's really smooth, um, kind of beyond her years in terms of her technique. She's got a lot of skill, so she's been looking really sharp out there. Sonoa is, uh, she's super feisty. She's got that fire in her. She just wants to drill every section as hard as she can. Winner of this skin is blue. Got another skin. I had to look at myself. <laughs> Congratulations. We have round three of the guys. First and second will go on to the final. Peach has got a mental one, huge carve out the back. Reed could just come out of nowhere and do some insane stuff too, but he's been surfing really consistent and been improving a lot. was definitely on fire, but I feel like his wave selection always just seems so insane. Like, he'll go out and somehow just find like two mid-sized ones and do six turns, and they stand up the whole way, and you're like. My son, before I went, he was like, just go have fun and don't hurt your knee. So I was kind of thinking, you know, that's, that's the way to go into this event, just try and have a good time and catch some waves. I look at Sonoa and Matea and I'm like, so glad I didn't have to surf against them when I was a teenager, you know? Like, it would have been daunting. They are my two, um, you know, fabulous daughters who are just 
so into surfing. You know, in this time they don't have other competitions and other people to push them. So the fact that they have each other and just to keep kind of their fires lit, you know, keep their passions alive together is just super awesome. That was like our first tea where it was like, it was only the two of us, like our first like man on man or woman on woman heat. So that was definitely really fun and interesting, but we ended up having kind of struggling heat. Neither of us found anything great and kind of piled around and like runs either like way too far in or way too far out for all the good waves. Reed was like super consistent the whole way through, doing some big moves. Like I saw a lot of spray out the back and big moves, but then I, I'd see him fall and I was like, you know, he's, he's going for it. He knows he needs to go big. And I was kind of just focused on waiting for the bigger set waves and finding that open face. It really felt like anyone could have won the men's. I think Calum's form in that first round, had he been the guy in the finals, maybe he could have challenged Pete maybe my form in the second round. Like it seemed like everyone had these windows, but Pete was like steady and, and, and took it to us the whole time and, and he definitely deserved the win. My sister ended up winning, which is, I'm kind of used to that.